Welcome, I'm Bev Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I made this card with products from Stampin' Up. I sell the products and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I have the free detailed directions for this project on my website. Click the links for the products to be taken my, to my online store. You'll see where to find all of that at the end of this video, so don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. I am not using a stamp set for this project. I have downloaded the Share Sunshine PDF from Stampin' Up. If you go to the website, you'll see it at the top of the page. Just click the link and you will um, be taken to another site where you will pay $12 US. The entire $12 will go to one of two organizations that are dealing with the COVID-19 virus. One is the World Health Organization's COVID Solidarity Response Fund or the United Way's Worldwide COVID-19 Community Response and Recovery Fund. Then you can instantly download this and there's directions on how to print. The first couple of pages um, also show what page, what colors they used, and what coordinating products like the dyes and so forth. There are a number of greetings that are perfect. You can print this out on our cardstock or maybe on premium copy paper. For this project, I used this page, page nine, just breathe, but wear your mask. So no stamp set, no ink, um, but I am using some cardstock. My card base is Knight of Navy, five and a half by eight and a half, scored at four and a quarter. I have a piece of Whisper White, five and a quarter by four to go on the inside, and a piece of Knight of Navy the same size to go on the front. I also have a piece of Calypso Coral, I also have a piece of the DSP Bird Ballad. I'm actually using this color. The direction said on page nine, they use the stitched rectangles dies. So I got out my taggers and I used this to see which size tagger I wanted for the greeting. And I used the number 10. So I went ahead and cut that out, and then I used one size larger, the number nine, to cut out the Calypso Coral. So I can just go ahead and adhere these together. I used the uh, Parisian Flourish embossing folder, and I put my Knight of Navy cardstock all the way to the very top and ran this through my embossing machine. I thought it just needed a little extra um, interest here. So I'll go ahead and put that on the front. And you notice um, this is off center. So my mask is going to go about there. I kind of like the swirls. I thought it was appropriate. I can go ahead and use my dimensionals to put my greeting on. I use the story label punch to punch out my designer series paper. And then I'll put some adhesive on the back. And I'm just going to um, put my Whisper White Solid Baker's Twine. And I'm looping it around. I think there's about eight inches or so. And I think it's going to be easiest for you if you do this in a figure eight. But really the important parts are the loops. I'm 
more dimensionals and if you put this over the baker's twine it will help make sure that that stays put and just set that on top. I think that I'm actually going to have that tilted a little bit. Perfect. I must admit that I saw this idea on a website and I copied the picture. I thought there was a watermark so that I could find who put that there. Turns out there was not a watermark. I wish I could credit the person who came up with the idea. But I thought it was wonderful. Just putting the Whisper White on the inside. And that's it. There are even some appropriate greetings for the envelope. Here is the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. Under Shop, I have tips for online shopping, frequent shopping rewards, and products I offer to help you stay organized. I offer a cardstock sampler, taggers to help you identify those dies with lots of similar shapes, heavy-duty bags to store 12x12 and 6x6 paper, a replacement tip for the fine tip glue pen in case yours gets clogged, and a bow maker. Share my Evernote notebook of current products for a nominal contribution. It functions as a fully searchable catalog. Inspiration takes you to all my projects. If you're new to stamping, you might want to look at the basics. You'll find how to cut card bases and layers, what's special about Stampin' Up! stamps, and some of my favorite tools. Under organization, you'll find catalog tabs, labels and case inserts, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, a basic toolkit, as well as a compact desktop toolbox, and lots of color charts. You can take a tour of my craft wall. More organization means more time for crafting. Come stamp with me here in Ventura County, California, or get the best deal of all and join my team of crafters. The team is called SIP Together, and it stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper Together. The team is made of crafters who want to save money on the products they buy, share with a few friends, or grow a business like mine. Be sure to subscribe to my website and on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you soon. Bye. Mm -hmm.